This is a Love at Physics IB video introducing modern physics. Between the 17th and the 19th century, there were an enormous amount of scientific discoveries, particularly in physics. We had incredible scientists like Isaac Newton and later on, James Clerk Maxwell. Isaac Newton taught us all about how things interact with each other and mechanics and if we roll one ball and it collides with the other ball then we can predict what speed they will move off at later. Similarly if we use a lighter ball and if we roll it different things happen depending on the mass but we can always predict what's going to happen. James Clerk Maxwell taught us about electromagnetism and he made loads of important discoveries about magnets and also about electricity and how either of those things work. So by the end of the 19th century we kind of thought we knew everything. We, we knew all about what happens with electromagnetism, we knew all about what happens with mechanics. Maybe that was the end of the line for physics. Maybe physics was completed. That whole image of the universe was what we call deterministic. Deterministic means that if we know exactly the position and the momentum of a particular object or a particle, then we can predict exactly where it's going to go and what it's going to do when it gets there. If we go back to our balls example, we've got if we have every single piece of knowledge about this ball and every single piece of knowledge about this ball, for example, if we know that both of their positions and both of their momentum, then we can predict exactly what's going to happen when they collide. Now, scientists at the end of the 19th century took this even further and they said that theoretically, if we knew the position of every single particle in the universe and the momentum of every single particle in the universe, then we should be able to predict exactly what's going to happen and we should be able to predict what's going to happen at the end of the universe and also if we rewind we should be able to say what happened at the beginning of the universe. However, at the beginning of the 20th century scientists came up with a few things that classical physics couldn't explain and it turned out that classical physics works absolutely fine for things that are normal sized. We are people sized and so we can understand things that are also people sized. However, when we go down to the world of the quantum, the very, 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 very small, the very small things do not obey the same rules as classical physics. The same happens with very, very, very fast things. So when things travel close to the speed of light, classical physics does not work. This represented an enormous change, a massive, what we call a paradigm shift from the time and the thoughts of Newton and Maxwell. And that enormous change is the start of modern physics. And modern physics is focusing on the very, very small and the very, very fast to try and understand what rules govern the behavior of those things. You can find out all about modern physics by watching some of my other videos. Search for Love at Physics on YouTube. And don't forget, if you want to hear more, you can subscribe. And if you want me to make more videos, you can like them.